Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 18 of Modern Skyblock 3. Uh, today I want to see what we can do uh, about doing a thing that I want to do. Also I'm making a crusher, as you can see, from uh, Actually Editions. So now that we have Actually Editions crushers, that might unlock some efficiencies with some things. Uh, so simply I want to get some bones. Let's get, I don't know how many of these I'm going to want. Let's get like half a stack. That sound cool? And I'm keeping an eye on as many ender pearls as I can. Because, um, remember last episode we wrapped up, we said we we're going to do our best to get some, uh, end stone stuff. Specifically, I'd like to get an end stone condenser if I can. That would be way more efficient and faster than my current setup. Um, and that would be cool. And I might want to do an end stone version of one of these guys. Um, but I don't know that that's as, as important. Oh, it might be. It might be nice to have. Um, but I think the condenser is like the first version that we're going to want to get. So out of curiosity, can I like crusher some of you guys? How, uh, how much, how much bone meal do I get for crushering you? Six? That's kind of cool. Um, might want to definitely look at doing that. Um, so let's recap what we need to do in order to get endstone. Uh, and, and figure out what we want to get. I think endstone condenser will probably be the first one, um, that we're going to want. Right, so that's this guy. So he's going to need six end stone plus eight end stone equals 14 end stone. Um, and this guy doesn't use any end stone and we have plenty of this stuff, so we should be fine there. So 14 end stone, right? Um, so we're gonna basically want 16 end stone, let's just say for the sake of argument. Um, so, so to get end stone, uh, as we can see over here, we get one from all this stuff that we need. So if I want, if I want eight end stone, I need 32 ender pearls. If I want 16 end stone, I need 64 end pearls. That's the ouch part. Like we do have an automated farm, but we don't have that many ender pearls um, that we can like blow 64 and feel super comfortable about it. So I'm debating, like I have 14 left after this, right? I'll probably get more, I've already gotten two. So it's not like I'm super dying for ender pearls. Also, um, we're, we're getting, some other things that get us ender pearls. So like we have some of these, these give you three ender pearls each. So technically we've got like 33 more ender pearls sitting right here. Uh, and we've also got ender zoo fragment stuff, which is we can turn five of those into an ender pearl, right? So we have, let's say about a hundred. So we have about 20 more ender pearls sitting there in ender zoo fragments. So we're not too bad on ender pearls, but we're also not like, you know, my cup runneth over either. So let's do our best to be a little conservative, right? So let's start off with 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 how many things we're gonna wanna get here. Oh, that's interesting. You have two output slots, but you stopped moving after one, probably because it didn't completely fill up would be my guess. But that's part of the reason I wanna get the crusher going. We do have a lot of bones to be fair, so I probably don't have to be doing what I'm doing right here with the crusher. But I, A, wanted to see if I could make it, and B, wanted to make it for reasons and stuff. So that's cool. Uh, let's get started on making some of this stuff. So you're gonna want bone blocks, right? Sweet. Cool. Okay, so that's four. So ultimately we're gonna want 64 of these. We're gonna want 64 of these. We're gonna want 32 nether quartz. Okay. And so that's 64, 64. 64, 32, and we're also gonna want 32 sugar. And you can go in here, sugar. Speaking of needing more ender pearls. Should look at getting like luck on my, uh, my weapons here, right? So that's the 32 sugar that we're gonna need. And then we're also going to need six diorite. Um, so that's gonna need some nether quartz, as I recall, unless there's like another nifty way to get diorite. So I really want you to be here. So diorite, um, we basically need a stack and a half of diorite. No, a stack, a stack and a third of diorite, because we need six, right? Um, not four, so yeah, no, stack and a half. We're right, yes, stack and a half of diorite. Because we're, uh, we're doing a stack of this, a stack of this, half a stack, half a stack. So we need a stack and a half of diorite. Um, that's going to require a stack and a half of quartz, womp womp womp, or andesite becomes diorite and an alchemy catalyst. And I can get that 
from smooth stone. So if I got a stack and a half of smooth stone, that might not be a terrible approach. Let's do this real quick. Oh goodness, I'm terrible at this game. I'm just gonna do a few of these. Just to get this going, right? Uh, so that might be an approach that we can take. It's gonna require a healthy amount of smooth stone for this, but it should work. So let's keep crushing bones, and uh, I'll come back in a minute when I've got pretty much everything I need. Does that sound fair? But I'm gonna need more bones crushed. I need a lot of bone meal for this, which is why I'm doing the crusher. Like, like I said, not hurting for bones. I have a lot of bones, but no sense being wasteful, right? Four stacks should be good. Yeah, it should be good. Nice. I really need to deal with those bags. You know, for not a terribly large amount of resources, I can just make a double crusher, right? Realizing how much bone meal I need, I decided it's probably a good, good idea to do that. Uh, so let's put away you and probably you guys for the time being. And then pull all this stuff out. I dumped this in here as like a temporary throw on my junk chest. Cool. Yay, more bone meal. Do the thing, Crusher. Do the thing. Nice, we're at 32 bone blocks. All right, so these guys should be done now, right? Ish, at least close to a stack and a half's worth. I need more ender pearls. I don't need more rare loot bags. Close enough to my accounts, so 30. So that, I don't know if I have quite enough mana for this, but um, you know what, I should be producing mana passively anyway in the background. Also, I real quick made a juicer between episodes, don't think I mentioned that. Um, apple juice is better than apples, especially for saturation. Not as much for filling your hunger bar, but saturation yeah, is definitely better. Um, so I'm going to just grab some coal here. I should really start looking at automating as much as I can. Now that I have like some things to do that with, that would be nice. Cool. So you might have some mana in here. Do I have a mana tablet laying around? I would expect that I do, but I also wouldn't be super surprised if I didn't. So I do remember them being uh, not cheap. So how did I get mana? I must have a mana tablet laying around. I must have a mana tablet laying around. I can't imagine where it is at the moment, but I have to have one, right? I know I made one at some point. Why is there a... I don't even want to know why there's a melon just sitting over there. There would be a mana tablet in here. I have no idea where my mana tablet is. Cool. I imagine I must have made one at some point, but... Let's make another one. Hopefully... If not, I have to do some smooth stoning. I don't have enough of this stuff. I don't. Man, I'm all kinds of a mess. Be right back. Okay. So. Uh, you... I know I had a mana tablet around here somewhere. I just can't for the life of me figure out what I did with it. Oh well, it doesn't matter. This is how we get diorite, ladies and gentlemen. First off... No. Pool, pool, pool to tablet, yes. Going on, please. That's what I want. So once that thing's pretty much totally empty, I'll dump it all into the transmutation pool. And that should hopefully be enough. Right, so we're basically going to want to let you drain completely. Anybody know what I did with my hole? I'm, I'm sure somebody's going to put in the comments here. Oh, you left it over in weird spot. Oh, that makes sense. Cool. Yes, there is a dirt. So convert all of this. Diorite. And how do we do for mana on that? Not that bad. That is not a terrible amount of mana by far. So that's cool. Right? So now we should, uh, provided that we have enough bone meal, which we're getting close to on. Uh, let's see. K and K. Yeah, definitely. That's cool. I'll take you guys out now because we're cool on bone meal. 
and I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff. Hey, a zombie pigman came to hang out. What's up, buddy? Okay, so that should be enough of everything that I need to get 16 endstone, right? Uh, now, the only other note here is that endstone requires uh, a high amount of heat, 1800 heat units, which is more than this one can do, so we have to do it back here, right? So let's put, in theory, it should be, right, 32, 64, a stack and a half, 32, and that should be it, right? So if I start hitting this button, or not, let's, let's, let's math that out again, right? Let's do one at a time. So six, All right, did I forget the sugar? I might've forgotten the sugar. If I forgot the sugar, that's why. Oh, I didn't want to put all 32 in there. That's what I get for having the wrong amount on me. Doot, doot. You, the ender pearls, the sugar, the quartz, and this stuff. If I forgot the sugar, that's why I failed. Okay, now to figure out why you're failing. Uh, two of you, four of you, two of you, six of you, and four of you. Oh, I need a stack of bone blocks, not half a stack. There's your problem. But hey, my first end stone. I knew I, I knew I mathed something wrong. Let's get about half of you guys. So I need a few more bone blocks. We'll come back in a minute when that's done. Dire derping with math. I could probably put you on auto split on. That should make you do that, right? Yeah. All right, I think that's the 60. So now we're good. I just halved what I needed for that. So so 30, all of this, all of this, all of this, and all that. Nice, now we're talking. So it's, it's one end stone per hit. Nice. So we'll be back uh, in about a minute or two once I've hit this a few times, because that is gonna be painfully slow. All right, one. And one more. That should be all she wrote. Nice. All right, so we want the end stone uh, condenser, which will be nice to have, right? So we're going to want one tertius alchemical. Boom. Uh, and, and to demonstrate how hopefully good this is, right, I'm going to put one, and there's no thing here, right? So one of you. And we're going to see how much iron ore we get from one of these with the iron casing, right? And the iron uh, condenser. And then we're going to upgrade it to this guy, right? So we've got this set. That's done, pretty much, crafting-wise. So I need two glowstone, six quartz, and a lapis. Two glowstone, six quartz, and a lapis. So a lapis, six quartz. Do I not have any glowstone on me? I can get some. Uh, four redstone and two blaze powder. Gets me how much of that, by the way? Five. Four redstone and two blaze powder, which I might not have on me, but we'll get. So you. Four redstone and two blaze powder. The ratios have to be correct, remember. Uh, did I derp that? Four redstone and two blaze powder, combustion. 1700 heat units. Uh, you are 1700, yes. Oh, you're out of coal. Ha! Well, there's your problem. Speaking of uh, things that I could probably be doing more efficiently, I would. It's always the last thing you expect. So four and two, and then you should be... All right, so that should be what we need for an end stone condenser. Uh, so I need one of these, check. I need one of these, check. And an end stone condenser should be really cool to have, right? So real quick, just to demonstrate the difference, right? We got five iron ingots out of one of these, right? I'm gonna replace you, 
which I think I can do by doing this and that. Sweet. And I'm gonna put one of these in. <laughs> ah, I don't mean to cause any alarm, but I feel like that's a lot. Wow, that's like a real lot. We're gonna have to find a better heat source for you because um, we haven't even put a dent in this and we've already made 10. So that's making a huge improvement. <laughs> Holy cow, that is a big difference. Uh, yeah, that's a lot more iron that we're gonna get out of that. Holy cow, is that gonna be a lot more iron? <sighs> that's neat. Um, now here's, here's what I'm not sure about. I would like to be able to improve this guy's so that's efficiency is related to, is that the coal efficiency? Um, that I'm not sure about. Like how much of a benefit would it be to get an end stone combustion heater? Like would that be like a big difference? Because end stone is by no means cheap, right? There's no, no stretch of the imagination that makes this thing cheap. Um, and I definitely can't make these yet, right? So that's a bummer, right? Um, so we do have, starlight transmutation at some point right uh we can get endstone from that once we get into that mod and that'll give us easier access to endstone but for now our only option is this super awful way uh let's do this torch uses for heat i'm looking for heat so a torch is one uh that's what i want heat sources uh liquid magma is nine Blazing Pyrothium is 10. Tile.fire is 8. I'd really like you to be hotter. Hmm. Like, I'd love for there to be this to run faster. Because this thing's actually running. This is my holdup right here. It's my Crucible can't keep up with melting crystal shards enough. That's where we're at right now, believe it or not. But yeah, that's a huge improvement. Oh, I put that up here. Okay, cool. My bad. Kind of forgot that I did that, but makes sense. Oh, hey, why aren't you even running? You should be. You have room to run. Why are you not running? Oh, interesting. Can you not have... Okay, that's that's cool. Does having two of these in here not work anymore? Because we did update the pack, remember? So that might be like a change to the way things work. That appears to be the case. Interesting. Okay, today I learned. So yeah, our holdup is here. Um, so a torch... Use cases for, hey, heat sources. Liquid magma, which is four magma creams, which is doable, right? That'll, that'll just make things a little bit faster. Because I already have two of these and getting two more blaze powder, you know, it's easy. That should be a little bit faster now. Nine heat source value. Whoops. Yeah. Derp. So it'll be a little bit quicker, but not a huge amount quicker. So maybe we want to think about having another crucible with another inserter. That might not be a terrible idea. That could work. Another crucible with another inserter. So I just need some bricks. Let's do that. And let's see if this can work. Because uh, legitimately not sure. Worth the shot though. Uh, two dirt. That was supposed to be two dirt. And you, let's get out this thing. You can go into my modded items chest for now. 
just smelt all eight of you for now. And then you just need some iron and a dropper. So iron's no longer a problem, am I right? Oh, that's not redstone on me. And then it's just a matter of how to get um, stuff into here. Because we're going to basically want to... So I could have... You know what I could do? I got a solution. We'll make another alchemical infusion table. Um, right? We'll just set up the whole darn thing. So two more Primus alchemical dust. That'll be cool. Right? Um, and we'll do this and that. And then a hopper just needs some iron. Again, not a problem. So we'll just set up the whole thing, but we'll just double it. And this should work out. So then while we're here, let's also get another gunpowder and another four slime balls. Because slime's not a problem at all, right? Um, let's explode the gunpowder. Turn you into this, do that. And then we're just gonna mirror this setup, right? Um, so what we'll do is we'll have the crucible set up here with this thing under it. That might block my ability to open this chest, but I'm not gonna worry about that too much. We're probably gonna put proper hoppers here anyway. Again, with the mess dire. It's like my brain doesn't even consider that there should be a block there that has liquid. So there, that's pretty cleaned up. Light source wise, cool. All right, so that looks good, right? And then what we'll do is basically have another inserter with another stack of glass and another bit of... I should make more of this tertius alchemical. Why don't I do that as my very next task before I forget? Um, technically, this could sit here, and then this guy can sit on top with this and this. And hopefully they both... Tell me if this seems like it's faster now. They do both seem to be draining into there. Wow. So we've already produced a stack and a quarter of iron ingots, not counting the ones I already took out. Um, and I don't think we're about halfway through. So one of these dusts produces roughly, let's say, three stacks of iron. That's the situation we find ourselves in. I'm glad I updated that because that's shenanigans. All right, more tertius. Can we do that as a priority? Uh, so, so glowstone and gold. Right. Um, three glowstone and one gold. So let's do that. And then since I know that we want to be here, two lapis and I'm going to need two more glowstone. So let's get our two lapis first. And then glowstone was redstone and blaze. So four redstone and a gunpowder. Let's get that and then that. That should be cool. So you do that. You're gonna be, let's say, 12 redstone actually. Put more redstone over here. That should be enough for a bunch of glowstone. That should be the right ratio if I'm right. Boy, you're slow. I would like to get more endstone. If I got more endstone, that would be really nice. Cool. Uh, so glowstone and gold. So four of you. Let's do one more set of that glowstone and gold. Because having more of this tertius is going to be important. If I ever run out of tertius completely, that would be a bad day for me. Uh, in fact, I should hold two on reserve just to always have it so I can use it to make more tertius in case I accidentally run out at some point. 
all it would mean would be having to make the next set of tertius inefficiently, but you get the idea, right? Uh, and then you are used uh, two lapis and two glowstone. So let's get a few more lapis than that. Let's get let's get twelve lapis. Does that sound fair? Hey hey hey! Stop doing cobalt. Who said cobalt? Nobody said cobalt. Now we're talking. Still, nice to know that that's an option. All right, that's not a terrible amount of that stuff. But you know what? Maybe a few more would be good. Because we're probably going to want some more in here. And we'll probably also want some more in here. And that should be good for now. So that's cool, and that's a stack in there. That'll work for me. We're still making iron. <laughs> that's cool. All right, be right back. So by the way, just as a note, iron casings, I think these add up, right? Because uh, endstone condenser was 660 and 660, right? But iron casings are 120% efficiency, which is probably the difference here. Um, so I feel like if I made an endstone casing, this would make even more iron per dust. <laughs> but we tallied out at a little over three stacks of iron per a single piece of iron dust. That is shenanigans, and I love it. And it's not even the most efficient because uh, you've got indirium uh, and, and refined obsidian that are even better um, condensers. Uh, yeah, that's so 660. So we've got Enderium, which is better. We've got Dark Matter, which is way better, Light Matter. Um, and then, yeah, so long story short, it's good, but it's not the best. And it's already pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I think that's cool. So Endstone Condenser, check. Um, so I'm going to call that, I think for now, done. I, between episodes, I'd like to look at replacing this. I don't know how much better an Endstone Combustion Heater would be. I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. So I'm gonna test that in a test world. Maybe I'll do that on camera real quick. All right, if I'm not mistaken, this should be a good setup. Uh, I just logged into a test world and I turned it on kitchen sink mode and I did a few little things to help with testing. So if I throw a piece of gunpowder in here and throw a bunch of coal in here, right? Why you no work? That, oh, right, because there's broken glass in there. Ha <laughs> ha! That's three blades better, right? So now let's convert that into an endstone version of this, right? So that's going to have higher speed, higher efficiency. Why you no... Oh, I think you require RF, don't you? You might require RF. Do you require ender pearls to run? Is that what I'm seeing? Oh, well that doesn't sound ideal. Why would I ever do this again? <laughs> Explain this one to me? Uh, yeah, I don't understand why I would do that. Furnace fuels last, furnace fuels, f electrum combustion heater, RF protect. So electrum requires RF. Nether brick requires blaze powder, apparently. Lead, radioactive powder mixture, lava. This one requires RF as well. Ender pearls. Interesting. It's interesting, but I don't think I want to do it. I'm glad I didn't do it, because that would have been a lot of time and effort to realize that ender pearls are required um, as a fuel source. Like, I guess it's nice, because I can probably wind up just dropping, like... So that thing definitely is nice. It refills a lot faster. So it would be faster crafting, but it's not like I'm getting more blaze powder per gunpowder. And that's really what I would be after, right? Um, now we could do the casing. So we could instead remove you, remove you, put the casing here with 
let's actually put iron in there. Um, the casing would kind of be nice because it's a better max heat level and we still get some good efficiency. So what if we put coal in there? So you have to fill up quite a bit. So that'll, I think that means less coal used, like more coal per, right? And then if we did gunpowder, like a stack of it. Yeah. If I was going to do anything here, I would probably do a casing rather than the combustion. All right, good to know. So we learned a little bit more this end of this episode about the, the collector and all that, the, this thing, the, the combustion heater and whatnot. So I would say if we wanted to do anything with endstone here, the casing would be good to do, but an endstone combustion heater would be bad. But let's wrap up. So that was 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next episode, no longer in the cheat world, and uh, play around more with Modern Skyblock and see what kind of progress we can get. For now, take it easy.